So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Uh, today we will be tying a relatively classic pattern from the US which is uh, known all around the all around the land there and it's becoming like a more and more popular pattern here in Iceland as well the last or the late years. Uh, this is the Clauser Minnow by Mr. Bob Clauser. He's, uh, of course, you know Bob Clauser. He's like an American legend in the fly fishing business. And uh, this is like a really, really effective and successful pattern by Mr. Mr. Bob Clauser. Uh, for the eyes of the Clauser, we can use either lead or, or brass or tungsten eyes. Uh, all of them will do the job, but uh, I'm going to use lead eyes with... Uh, those pupils on it, like uh, painted painted uh, pupils on on uh, on a yellow yellow background, as you see, and we will start by attaching the eyes to the hook like this, and we'll do like really tight wraps here, uh, somewhere about six and between six and eight, and then the uh, the other direction to uh, get the eyes like in place correctly. And you have to use your fingers and hands to uh, really get the eyes, uh, uh, yeah, straight there. And it takes like a few seconds to really suit down the eyes, so they will definitely stay in place. And we'll be um, doing that on this uh, on this fly. And. The thread I'm using, I'm using a Semperfly Nano Silk number uh, white one, uh, 100 denier. And this is like, um, uh, I, I prefer to use a white thread for it, and you need indeed a strong thread for this pattern. And when we have done with, when we are done with the eyes uh, suit on, you, you'll see uh, those zigzag. Uh, uh, wraps are not going to do anything for you, I think. Just six or eight each direction, like I'm doing. And then for the last step, if you wrap the thread under the eyes, both sides, that's going to really trap them and lock them in place. And to, of course, to secure them, you can uh, use super glue or sap a gap or some stuff like that. And uh, as you, the American audience at least, can see here, this is not like a really big hook I'm tying it on. This is just a um, deep streamer number 14 from Arex, and it does not have the straight, complete straight eye, as you see. I would like that, but Arex just released, I think, uh, a line called the Clauser Signature, but I do not have those hooks yet. Here are some Clauser minutes are tight in uh, red and black and blue and white, and you can really play around with the colors in this one. But uh, the most common one I've seen uh, tight and used is uh, with a white bucktail or chartreuse bucktail mixed, or even white and olive. But you can actually just do and go all around. You can really play around with the colors in this one, and especially here in Iceland, I, I think the uh, if you're fishing in, in lakes for the brown trout, I think uh, black and red with those yellow eyes. There is something with black and red color here for Icelandic trout that the trout seems to be very fond of that colorization of the or that color pattern. Uh, to add a little decoration, we'll use those crystal flash uh, strands. I'm taking four, line, lining them up like this, and uh, and locking them in like so. And since the eyes are on the top, is uh, the hook is going to write uh, like with the eyes down in the water and the hook point and the hook itself upwards, and. So this is like the belly of the fly we are tying here, kind of, the underside of it, because it's going to ride on the other side when it gets submerged. Uh, we take 
to start with uh, white bucktail, relatively long fibers of the bucktail, if you can. I'm going to just strip out like the, uh, uh, the short ones. Then I'm going to hand stack them, if I can, if we can call this hand stacking, but this is definitely something in that way at least. And then we are going to lay them down like so and take them over the eyes and we'll see, you'll see how we do that. That's one one another issue is the length of the uh, you know of the uh, of the bucktail. If it's supposed to be longer or or, or uh, aligned with the crystal flask or even a bit shorter, I leave that up to you guys. But uh, I prefer to keep them a little bit shorter than the crystal flask, like so. Yeah, remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and uh, you can consider to uh, support the channel as well if you like but uh, we tied down the bucktail as you see behind the eyes then we'll take the rest of the material the rest of the bucktail i'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see what we are what we are doing i'm going to push them down like so and in some cases you may like to use a thread that had uh, wax, wax thread. This is like a rather slippery thread I'm using, but but very strong. The wax thread would be maybe prefer preferable for some tires. And then we are going to lock this part of the fur in. And we need to get those, uh, the, rem the rem remains of the bucktail uh, up like so. There is one issue with uh, tying out of bucktail here in Iceland. First of all, of course, we do not have bucks or any, almost any kind of game in nature here. So all of the bucktail are like imported. Uh, secondary bucktail seems not not seems to be not necessarily a very popular material material to tie from. I think marabou and some stuff is way more popular to use here in Iceland, like than the bucktail because maybe marabou is like. A, it's more alive in the water and, and has more motion and stuff like that. But I personally like the bucktail a lot. And uh, for the other side of the fly, I'm going to use a red bucktail. And uh, here is one I tied, I showed you maybe. Uh, this is out of uh, red and black. And with this flashy color and just normal dumbbell eyes, it works, I think, very well. But, uh, yeah, one issue w which I was speaking about with the bucktail is that, uh, is that uh, you cannot get all the variations of colors that you can get in the U.S. In some stores in the U.S., you can get all, ra all the range of colors in, in the bucktail. But here in Iceland, you can get, like, the basic colors and you can... It's hard to find, like, chartreuse buck bucktail. It's... Uh, uh, that one and even olive bucktail is not too easy to be found here in the in the stores here. So that's why I'm using this uh, using those colors we are tying from. Those are the colors I just have, and I'm not gonna be placing a, like a particular order for you know just to tie one video. That would be so. That sounds ridiculous to me. Kind of uh, just have to use what you have. Um, then the. Uh, Second part of the fly is on, and now we are making and forming the head of the of the Clauser minnow, and we have to make it like uh, quite tight. It's going to be some tension on it when when a really big fish is going to hit the fly. And uh, there is like a similar fly here in Iceland called Kötter, tight like I don't know twenty probably not more than 20 years back by a guy. That, uh, the cutter reminds a little bit of a Clauser minnow. Uh, I have a video on the cutter. It's called Black Cat or, or, or Schwarzer Cutter. I'll put the link in that, uh, in this uh, video here right now, but for you can, so you can compare those two flies. But uh, the Clauser minnow here is ready, and I'm going to finish it off with a, Sapa gap on the hat simply because uh, the Sapa gap is stronger than the UV resin 
and the Zappa gap is going to drink into the thread, then it's going to really lock everything in place. And then we smear a bit on the on the head there, just in case. Uh, since the and and on the back, of course. But since the Zappa clap is like a super glue, but clear super glue that it's not going to get uh, cloudy or anything, you have to be kind of careful with it, not blinding the eye of the hook or anything. But here's the Klaus Amino, guys. I hope you like the tutorial. And yeah, this is uh, the Chartreuse color on this, uh, which I was uh, revealing in the Icelandic video for the Icelandic audience. But the, yeah, the Klaus Amino is ready. I just want to say to you guys, um, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.